Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Blow Hogan Podcast, check it out! The Blow Hogan Experience. Train by day, Blow Hogan Podcast by night, all day! <laughs> wow, shucks, thanks Blow I don't know if I could live up to that intro. Um, yeah, so, I mean, me and my friends, we all snuck into heaven because we're trying to get our friend the doodler out. Um, a real asshole named Willie Stampler stole them, and uh, Willie's like God now? That's why I'm, oh. <laughs> well, okay, once I don't know if that's true. <laughs> well, I don't, why does it matter if I'm vaccinated or not? Welcome to Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast. Instead, a, a loose citizen's podcast. A citizen's You're under podcast. arrest. <laughs> I'm performing a citizen's podcast about you. We were discussing citizen's arrest right before we started recording. This is not a citizen's arrest podcast, nor is it a sovereign citizen podcast. This is it's a, a star citizen podcast <laughs> about the new Bethesda RPG. This is... Oh, that's Starfield, William? Oh, uh, no, the star citizen's the other one. Yeah. Yeah. No, a star citizen is in, like, in second grade when you do your best <laughs> yeah. behavior and you get a star. Oh. This is Dungeons and Dragons podcast about four teens from our world. Psych, they're from another world, but they're back in our world trying to fix all the mistakes <laughs> that their grandparents made. My name is Freddie Wong. I play Taylor Swift, the tiefling rogue, the sneakiest of the sneaks. Uh, that's who I play. <laughs> okay. Caster of, Caster of Taylor, Darkness. Is Taylor like really a tiefling? No. Well, I, I said him as tiefling because it's like that's... his dad is half, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like Ron's, oh, yeah, half Ron demon. wasn't right. a tiefling, but he was a tiefling. Oh, I see. No, but that's you're right. right. You actually are like half demon. Like you actually are yeah. you're like a quarter yeah. demon. So I'm so cool. quarter demon. Do you have like? Does Taylor have like a little tail? Oh, not yet. That hasn't hit puberty yet. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't hit puberty yet. Well, no, hold on. We're, we're getting all the Taylor lore mixed wow, up. Wow, I'm digging deep. I well, struck no, no, a low. No, sorry, here. sorry, sorry. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. He hasn't hit demon puberty. yet. Uh, oh. He's hit human puberty, <laughs> but then demon puberty comes They'll on. They'll start later. growing where they weren't before. <laughs> demon puberty. puberty hits at 19. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that crazy year. <laughs> All right. Taylor's teen fact for this week as we left Taylor, he's now faced with the task of talking to a guy to convince him to change his name. Taylor is no stranger to store to door salesmanship. He did the chocolate. You know, remember that band candy, sell, band candy. He had to sell mm-hmm. for his baseball team. He got all hyped up to go do it. And then he was just like, all right, mom, I'm going to go. She's like, no, I'll just, I'll just buy it all. And he's like, okay. So that's his entire salesman experience, which is his mom stepped in to buy all the candy he was going to sell. Well, you just fucked yourself out of getting persuasion advantage. I wasn't uh, going to get it anyway, motherfucker. All right. All right. I wasn't um, going to get it anyway because I'm true to my character. I yield the remainder of my time. Hey, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Matthew Arnold. I play Lincoln Lee, Wilson, Oaks, Garcia, Marlowe, Close. Wait, Swift? I think Swallows is in there somewhere too. Swallows is in there. Hermie, what's Hermie's last name? The unworthy. unworthy. He's dead. Oh, you're, you're, you're uh, <laughs> he certainly is. Yep. Anyways, he's the schooled at home soccer kid who became the protective paladin of the group. Really, really simple. I just want to get into the episode. I just want to have some fun. So just simple fact. Also, mm-hmm. because I feel like the latest facts have been pretty dark for Link. So I just want to say Give me that- good. Again, Link wakes up really early so he can play soccer, and he also sneaks into his dad's rooms, and Mm -hmm. he cleans up. He just cleans up for them every single morning. Uh, Are they sleeping? Yeah. Yeah, he just, like, he strains out of the room, and Marco and Grant both think the other one does it. Like, neither of them know that Lincoln always comes into their room and, like, puts their clothes away and wipes down their bed, because he just wants to show the dad that he's like, like, what? Huh? (laughs) (laughs) Wipes down the counter, you know, whatever. That's not what you said. Dude, what whiskey did I say? move watering into your parents', parents bedroom, bedroom first thing early in the morning. Early morning, yeah, huh? I agree. Nothing's happened yet, but you never know. But yeah, yeah marriage is not going well. Mark and Grant will just think, it's like, man, Grant, that's so nice. So that he's single-handedly keeping the marriage together. Yeah, without that, it'd be gone. <laughs> that's the only thing is. But yeah, that's what he does. Wow. Sweet kid. Oh, that's very cute. Yeah. Can I ask really quick, just as yeah. a procedural question? 
Does he use like the disposable Swiffer? Like, also, like Mark on ground aren't animals. What do you think the actor is actually just like throw stuff on the ground? Anybody who has kids, like you never know when your kid's gonna walk into your room. Uh, yeah. Point. Does he use like the disposable Swiffers or does he use like reusable towels? Is he green? You know? Oh, he's not green at all. Oh yeah, he's yeah. like the Lysol wipes. Yeah, they they definitely are both like we have a lot of laundry going. on. <laughs> These towels, there's <laughs> so many towels in the laundry. Hi everyone, I'm Will Campos. I play I normally Lee Oakswallows Garcia, the unworthy close Marlowe Wilson, Tinker Taylor Soldiers by. Uh, he's a perky, peppy, chipper, cheery, school spirit mascot kid. Fun fact about normal this week. I had another one planned, but inspired by Freddie's band candy story. I feel like normal is also deep into the band candy game. I think it was mm. an opposite thing. Like normal talked a huge game about, mm. he was How like, I'm going to sell so much of this shit. I'm going to fucking move so much product and like got in way too deep. And has like an order oh, of no. like 50,000 oh, band no. candy chocolates like just dangling over his head. And he's just been fucking duck. He can't sell to anybody. And it's like not vegan chocolate. So he, his parents won't even buy it off of him. So he's just been like fucking in debt. Do that's you know his I mean? student Dude, debt. That's he's so in student funny. debt. Yeah. That's so funny. That he took normal. out a loan from the bank to, <laughs> under his dad's name. He used his dad's name and his like fucking social security card to rack up a huge loan his parents don't know anything about. And he's got like just a huge crate of band candy sitting under the house. He's trying to figure out how to flip it. Damn. Yeah. And that's why our merch drawer is down. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, yes, it was SCP Sell Candy, please. (laughs) (laughs) Hi, I'm Beth May, and I play Scary Marlowe, a goth punk seeker of darkness who is not like the other warlocks. Scary's currently playing Larry, the science kid. (laughs) Larry fact. Larry fact. I'll do a Larry fact. Was that supposed to rhyme with scary? Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Beth is a poet, Will. Also, an important lore question. Shell is, Silverstinian. Is there like a real Larry that she's replicating? Off like she's like, oh, I'm going to pretend to be Larry. Or is I'll, this just- I'll let you behind the curtain for a moment. Uh-huh. Larry is based solely on a tweet that Freddie just saw, but it's been in my mind for a while now because this tweet is so heinous and it's a reply tweet to Elon Musk. Um, <laughs> and I base Larry completely on that. Okay. What was but the still, tweet? Was is, the tweet? is it a kid in the tweet. school? No, Larry's okay, not. Okay. Yeah. So like we don't know. Oh, well, just I don't know. Maybe Anthony would We're bring not the real. Be shocked if we see Larry here. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like maybe Anthony would bring the real Larry, and then that'd be a. I think Beth headed him off at the past. Yeah, saying it's not that could have been. That nice. could have been. That would have been a, a funny real... joke to bring in later on. But I'm glad you preemptively <laughs> anti improv me. And then you could have had a classic like, which one do I shoot? Yeah, moment. exactly. Yeah. What a fun episode that would have been. <laughs> <laughs> which one do I shoot? One is scary. Another's the kid Larry. We all know. Which one do we shoot? What a dilemma. This is the lore behind Larry. Elon Musk tweeted, I don't like the taste or effects of most alcohol, but there is something quite beautiful about red wine in a fine glass. And somebody replied, somebody replied to Elon saying, I remember pouring you a glass at a friend's house in SF after another mutual friend's wedding in 17. I was decanting another. You didn't want to wait. Honey Badger drinks when he wants. No. I made the clutch move of ordering us pizza at 1 a.m. And I'm like, that's who Larry is. <laughs> Dude, Larry a cool. piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. This kid has different flavor than I thought. How did he go from that tweet to be like, he's the science kid? <laughs> I don't remember. But um, okay, I so love fun, it. fun fact, fun fact about it. scary this mm-hmm. week yes, is please. that before the release of her hit album that is now available, Sophomore Slump. Available on our Patreon and for digital download at patreon.com slash Dungeons and Dads. And Pirate Bay. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Before that, Scary actually had the idea of writing a musical, a soft boy musical, but then realized that was his dear Evan Hansen. Got him. <laughs> Fucking got him. <laughs> Fun fact about Larry is that Larry's favorite show is The Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Um, not because it's so funny, which it is, but because it, it deals with an important scientific principle. <laughs> What's Love. the name of Larry's album? When's Larry's album coming up? <laughs> it's called A Theory of Everything. Yes. Love it. I'm Anthony Birch. I'm your dad. Hi, dad. I'm only realizing now at the end of the series, I probably should have come up with something other than I'm your dad. Like, I'm your chaperone or something. No, you're a teen. What do you mean? You still are dad. Teens have dads. Yeah. 
I guess so. It's actually more fitting that you're our dad. Okay, yeah, perfect. it would have been like, but dads any, have dads too, so. You no, know what, if anything, it shows the difference between the relationship of the audience, but like in the first season, you were saying, I'm your dad. You're talking to the audience like, I'm your dad. Yeah. Here, you're saying it to us. Yeah. It's nice and close. I like it. I like that you're my dad. you adopted all of us. Yeah, you adopted <laughs> us. That's true. I guess I'm feeling I'm feeling a little weird about this episode because it might what? be the final episode and it might not Wait, be. What? Wait, what? what? No don't way. say that. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I don't know, because you guys, if uh, depending <laughs> on how this fight goes, depending on what you do with Willie, who knows? It might be the <laughs> Wow. Wow. There's so much I think I need to do. I don't know. Yeah. And that's like your teenage years. They just yeah, hit you. Shit. Yeah. Just... As we go. One. <laughs> <laughs> one day you had your last sleep over that whole thing. Damn. When we last left the group, you were basically in a multi I feel like I'm a challenge. I'm going to do everything I can to make this the last episode. No, you're not. If anything, should be the opposite. Let's fucking stretch that shit out. <laughs> like Daffy, baby. When we last left okay. you, you were part of a multi-pronged assault on heaven. Fuck yeah, that sounds that's so a, sick, That's dog. such a kind way of saying that's what so, our So much was. more deliberate than what happened. Norman and Link used alternating hover boots yeah. and Destiny-style clipping into the wall jumping puzzles in order to get up to the wall of heaven where they are currently standing. They can see yep, into We're heaven. sitting on a wall. That's sitting on our a wall. part of the attack, as you called it. <laughs> Perimeter secure. <laughs> yeah. Scary has disguised herself as Larry the science kid, who has currently gotten in good with Willie, who really admires the way that Larry is just completely subservient to him. And his knowledge of the periodic table. Yep. Taylor is currently in an ocean of paperwork and has just found the name Vincent Spellfeather on a particular piece of paper and is planning to convince Vincent Spellfeather, because only the person whose name is on the piece of paper can change the name, to Willie Stampler so that he can subvert the collar that is around dude that reads, I have to follow Willie Stampler's instructions to the letter. And there's another Willie Stampler's alive because Willie Stampler killed all the other Willie Stamplers. Yes, all like other Willie Stamplers. Including the one. Including a baby Harry. that was just named Willie Stampler because he's the bad he guy. He absorbed them at the very least in the, the angels. Maybe, maybe they're not dead. Maybe oh, okay. all the babies are fine. Oh, you're saying maybe he has all the power, just like in Jet Lee. Just like in Jet Lee's the one. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess you're still all separate. We're still technically in three different parties. So, I leave it to you who we would like to pick up with first. So, the last thing that happened was. The stinky boys made it to the top of the wall. Uh, scary. Can we see? That's right. You're stinky now, too. Yeah. Can we see Taylor? Seal, Seal team stink. Sure. Can we just like watch out to Taylor specifically? You know, like in the Harry Potter movies, when it looks really dumb, when they like teleported, they like the kids that teleported well, they kind of like walk in the air, like oh, slowly yeah. floating down to the ground. Can we do that? Can we just walk what, down sorry, to. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, I know. I know exactly what you're talking about. Unfortunately, I know that it's the in the fourth, fourth <laughs> Harry Potter movie and it's like when they're, they, um, they touch the port key and, yeah, the, um, port key. and the adults are able to like run through the air, but they still like hella stupid and the kids just slam into the ground. Yeah, the CG is like clearly they're just running on a treadmill on a green screen and they just kind of like levitate them down to the ground. I'm just like, can we just like float walk to Taylor is my point. Uh, you, would, you could do it. You would have to pass a stealth check to get past the angels that are currently oh, shit. floating yeah. over heaven, looking everywhere like a bunch of security what cameras. The, what the angel situation is. Yeah, like, so there are, are they. Yeah, the, what's going on? Paint they're the currently picture. in the throne of God where Willie is sitting. There are eight angels surrounding him and the doodler. Everywhere else around heaven, there are scattered angels here and there, basically looking back and forth like security cameras in a Metal Gear Solid game. So wherever you go, you're going to have to be a little bit okay. sneaky to avoid getting spotted by the angels. All right. Well, we just avoid it. Okay. Kind of like in all those games, it's really easy to just avoid it. You just wait for them to look Link. away. Yeah. What's up, Norm? So it feels like yeah. Taylor's got something going on. Yeah, I see him over there. He's got like a paper. He looks pretty excited. Yeah, I don't know what that's about, but it looks great. I haven't seen Scary. I don't know where Scary is. There's a cool teen talking to Willie. I don't know what that's about, but it feels like you and I don't have anything going on. I mean, we're... <laughs> what? <laughs> What do you mean? We're, we got, <laughs> Norm, we got into heaven. I, I mean, we but just, we're just kind of sitting here right now. So well, we just do. got here. We just need, I just need a rest. It's like, fine. Okay. Well, All like, right, well let's go to, it looks like Taylor's got something. We got to get to Taylor. Should we go find out what Taylor's got going I was just going to be like, you know, we could also figure out something to have going on if you want to oh. do that. Or we could just get in on whatever Taylor's got going on. I mean, I'm looking around. It looks like Willie's pretty strong over there mm -hmm. and looks like angels are everywhere. I feel like the sooner we can all get together and I mean, I want to find scary if we can know where scary is. Yeah. Maybe Taylor and, knows where scary yeah, is. Yeah. Maybe it's Taylor. Oh yeah. Cause that's all the names. And like, there's a lot of names there, but I think I remember again, like Chester and his wife taught me a few things. So like maybe I'll, I'll what do they teach you? I mean, well, a lot. I mean, I'm honestly just like, just like really thinking about yourself and like what you really want to do with your life. Cause like they've lived for a long time. Really? How long and, do they live for? I mean, forever, as far as I'm concerned. Wow. Like, Longer I would, than I would in think, captivity, like, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, like, they seem happy, even though all they do is just read paper. Link, I was like, that's a big deal. 
Yeah, what's up? Are Anyways, you that's happy? Why well, no, of course not. That's a silly question. Nobody's happy. I mean, <laughs> have you been happy before, do you think? I mean, there's like moments when like I'm like kicking a soccer ball or like you guys say that something was cool I did that like I feel like pretty cool. So like that's good. That's okay. happy. So, whoa, that's a heavy question. In heaven. Like we're in heaven, right? Yeah, Dude, that's it like, just, yeah. you know. Okay. Is this by we don't have much going on? Is this what you mean? Because like we could, we got to go. <laughs> I don't know. We could just feel cool. like you're like, you know, I just, I know we got a lot going on, but yeah, like, you yeah. know, I just want to get in there sometimes and dig around and see no, what's going on. No, I appreciate on. that. No, no, it's, it's totally cool. I think it's something I'm going to have to deal with. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways. Well, I'm, here's what we're going to do. You know, like if there's like a, like you have like a dinner party, your dads are having a dinner party mm-hmm. and you like drop a glass and it's broken mm-hmm. and you're like, I guess I could probably fix this glass, but it's going to take a long Long time i definitely can't do it at the dinner party mm-hmm. so like i'm definitely like that glass wow like, i'm broken how many pieces do you think but, like, we got a dinner into? party I'm this, down. Got, this is really interesting i don't know but we got like a dinner party so you're like, right you're right we yeah let's like to dinner we'll, party. we'll figure it out later well, and honestly we'll probably just throw it in the trash because like who no! cares about fixing a glass <laughs> so like let's let's uh let's let's, let's, let's go okay let's go well, find taylor just, i link i just i yeah. want to give you this what and is it i pull out a sticker from my pocket Ooh. And it's a sticker, <laughs> just a little cut up sticker of an octopus. People say and kids I say, stop liking wait. stickers after the age of five, but I disagree. Yeah, I'm no, always I down for stickers. a sticker. This is <laughs> the talk to puss. And anytime oh. you want to talk to me, you just, you know, you just show me the sticker. And I need then, a sticker to talk, we'll talk to you? We'll check in on this. <laughs> okay. You can put the sticker on why something I, or just leave wait, it on the sleeve. Why if I lose the sticker? Can I still talk to you? You can still, t- you, you, yeah, oh, you just tell me you lost the talk to puss, but you want to okay. talk. Okay. That sounds okay. Good. Just, you know, but there, there it is. All right. Let's, All right. Well, let's go find Taylor. Yeah. Let's let's hover down. So uh, you hover down to the surface of heaven. Oh shit! We were supposed to stealth and stuff. Oh, before I do that, Anthony, yeah. I want to. I was like, maybe oh, while we're talking, I was going to give you an opportunity to stealth right there. But yeah. okay, I was going to say while all that was going on, normal was also reconnoitering to see if I could memorize mm. the, the. So you were half listening to your friend. And you were, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, are you happy or what? So uh, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, here's the I sticker. Wanted, yes, talk I, to the sticker whenever you want to talk to me. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be there for Link, but I also wanted to look like I was in casual conversation for any suspicious angels going around while also trying to clock like what like their little scouting patterns might be so we can yeah in fact Link was also only half listening I was also scouting <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, combined I think that means both of you get an either a perception or investigation check if you want okay okay to catch their uh, patterns Ooh, I got a 21 perception. I got a 20 wow. wow okay so great so it means you're gonna get an advantage we get to on both your... percept yeah. and invest what's we, going on yes we exactly know what's happening you can uh, roll advantage on your stealth check to get past Hell yeah the angels but <laughs> both of us are trying to pretend like we weren't <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. both like, oh, yeah, yeah, let's just be sneaky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So we're just, uh-huh. we're both pretending like we weren't doing that. I got 19 stealth. Ooh, good thing I rolled that advantage. Oh, yeah, that was without advantage. With a 19 stealth, you managed to pass without trace past the angel's link. With your 12 normal, you begin to pass without trace through the clouds of heaven, <laughs> but you stumble on a slightly harder cloud and you Ow. face plant on the ground. And if you stay still, there's a chance they won't see you, but their angel is now looking directly <gasps> in your area, and there's sort of fog of a cloud rolling over you, Link. and it's right in your eye. Uh, Don't line. move. Don't move. Go on without me. No, I'm going to no. I look around for Link, like- live a happy life. What? I, I Give mean, the octopus to someone you love. Oh, Share your feelings. Okay. Oh, well, th- th- Go find Taylor. I'll okay. be fine. Okay, stop. Okay, I'll do all those things, I promise. Now shut up. <laughs> Stay still, and I'll go do those things, okay? Wink. And then, <laughs> and then I'm, I'm, I'm face planted on the ground. I can't look up. Did you just say wink or did you wink so loud? It sounded like you said, I wink. said it because I knew you weren't looking at me. So you wouldn't see my Wait, wink. Are these the angels that are around yeah. like me and Willie? They are the same type of angel, but they are not literally those angels. Oh, there, okay, there are okay. eight angels that are stationary around you and Willie. There are other angels around heaven that are just patrolling. Okay. I want to look for something that I can throw to distract the angel. Okay. What kind of stuff do you think you might find in heaven? In the oh, lobby. I know what I'm going to do. The seven people you throw in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn on, if that's how it works, I'm going to take off my hover boot now that we're on the ground. Okay. I'm going to like turn on full blast. I was trying to get to that 20 foot range, you know, uh-huh. and I'm pushing it down, you know, like two magnets against each other. I'm pushing it against like a 45 degree angle somewhere, some pillar. I'm just going to let it go so the boot goes and goes like flying. Okay, sure. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. So you find an alabaster pillar and you push the, <laughs> nice. um, well, the, the boot of levitation. Boot. You push the boot of levitation against it. And just like you said, it's magnetized in a way. It's trying to resist the urge to touch. The it really wants to get 20 color. feet in the air. It's it got really those wants to get LA lights on it, too. So the yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm shooting it like right past the angel, so it like flies past it. That's great. So give me an advantaged dexterity check to make sure it doesn't like slip out of your hands while you're trying to do this. Can I do strength? Because it's like how yeah, hard I can Yeah, because it. it's hard. Yeah. 
because it's strong. Actually, can I do dexterity because I'm better at dexterity? Yeah, I mean, my thing <laughs> made more sense for me. Good save, Matt. Good Woo! save, dude. It's an 11. Oh, I got advantage though, right? You said? Yeah. Hell yeah. Because it's a good idea. Last time. It's a 14. Okay, so I, th- I think a 14 will poof, send the um, <laughs> boot of levitation way into the distance, so now you've lost that boot of levitation for good because it yeah. disappears into the clouds, but at the very least, the motion passing past the angel's field of view makes it go, <laughs> and it turns and uh, follows that. Right. Oh, and I want to pull. In that moment, Normal's going to scurry into nice. where Link is, into a great hiding space. Yeah. So you, you are together now, space. hiding against the alabaster pillar. I like the idea that the angel's like, what was that? And then yeah, like, what was that, was that noise? Like, Must have been a boot. Yeah. <laughs> Must have been nothing. Must have been a boot of levitation. So now there is basically a clear shot between you and the ocean of paper if you want to try to get to Taylor. Do we see Taylor? Yeah. Taylor is currently like top tier stealth within the, the ocean because he you landed hear, so properly. Perhaps, a whisper of Taylor. Taylor is just a phantasm, a ghost in the machine. You hear him in the rustling of the pages. Taylor's a ghost? Between the lines. No. Okay. I, want, I want to put my you lips up to- of Taylor? Like, Taylor. I want to put my lips up to the shore of the paper. <laughs> okay. Your lips? Yeah, like I'm going to whisper into like, you know, like you're whispering yeah. into the water. I'm going to whisper is like- Yeah, you know that thing we yeah, all do? You know, <laughs> you know when you whisper into the water? Were you an old woman who lost her husband yeah. at sea 40 yeah, years yeah, exactly. ago? <laughs> and I go, and I go, and Bring I go- Bring you back to me. And I go- Anime is not a real art form. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you have to make a disadvantaged stealth roll, Taylor. Uh, I, I to want to call can... him to us. I want to find because like God. he's in this like Pacific Ocean. Of You're paper, gonna hear right? it no matter what, but it's a wisdom saving throw to see if you can stop yourself from from killing, freaking Link. the fuck out, and making a really loud noise. Natural one. Okay. Oh no! Oh, I from to across go. from across the <laughs> ocean. <laughs> here. What? <laughs> Taylor goes super saiyan and launches into the sky. No, you know what it is? You see, you know how like Bugs Bunny when he goes under the ground, and it's like the tough yeah, the mound is moving. The around. mound is moving. You just see a mound of paper. Like, <laughs> Something's <laughs> coming, Link. <laughs> and then all of a sudden all of a sudden, sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden the mound disappears and they go nothing personnel kid and i'm right behind you <laughs> oh, hey, I, have a, I have a knife up to your throat <laughs> oh my god like, you say that one more time oh i didn't and mean you I screamed just... loudly yes, so yes, yes. the um the angel who got distracted by the boot then immediately like Whoop! an exclamation point of beers above its head and, like and, normal, and i go boot because you have a boot too <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to do the boot thing. <laughs> I mean, it is looking directly in your location, so you're going to get I'm it at a disadvantage. Hit it, it for hit a it, second. Yeah, hit yeah, it. I'm going to try to yeet my boot into its eye. Okay, make it range it's, attack. The, what's uh, funny roll. about this is that this is a, what, like a specifically accuracy-related foot thing. It's too bad that, uh, Matt, you're not doing oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got an 11. Okay, so with an 11, I go, get a load of this, yeah! <laughs> and and I boot, shoot the boot at it. The boot goes... And just kind of like bounces off of its eye and it just like narrows its eye at you and starts pursuing you. It's gonna, Uh-oh. it's coming at you. Its pupil begins to dilate and enlarge and you can tell that it is going to try to swallow you into itself. <gasps> Hold hands and let's just, let's just swim. Like if there's bees attacking you, you go in the water. So into, the, like, into the papers, into everybody. Into the papers, everyone, but hold hands so we don't get lost. Okay, great. You disappear into the ocean of papers much like your money should disappear into the products and services that are offered by <laughs> all the lovely companies that advertise with us, DungeonsAndDaddies.com. Wait, can the angel go on the... Yeah, you're about to find out. Oh, okay. So yeah, go ahead and roll initiative, please. <laughs> 20. Wow. Yeah, I get plus three initiative. Uh, 21, fucker. <gasps> Jeez. That's good. We're on the same 14. team, bro. Fourteen. <gasps> Congratulations. You can say the biggest number. <laughs> Is that from something? It's a succession. When they oh, die, oh they yeah, yeah. That was really good. Yeah. So, Taylor, you get to go first. You can sort of sense that the angel is scanning the surface of the ocean of paperwork, trying to find you, and that on its turn, it is going to make a, a check, basically, to find you, and if it succeeds, it is going to start attacking you. Is it just observation? Is this how this angel is finding me? Yeah, yeah. It's just looking with its big-ass eye. Okay, okay. So I'm going to hold my breath and sink deeper into the papers. Okay. I'm like, <gasps> feels like that's a constitution saving throw to see if you can disappear under the paper without losing your breath. Four plus three, seven. Okay, so you immediately... <laughs> and, oh, uh, I breathe surface. in a bit of confetti and like, cat, cat. Yeah, you get a paper cut in your throat. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, yeah. That's it, real. That happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that was your movement if you want to try to do something else. Okay, in that case... Um, but he still went farther down. But he made noise. I'm going to do he panache. I'm going to roll panache, an action that I have. As an action, I can make a persuasion check contested by a creature's insight check. Okay. 
On success, a hostile creature has disadvantage on attack rolls against targets and can't make opportunity attacks on targets other than me for a minute until one of my allies engages it or gets more than 60 feet. If it isn't hostile, it's charmed, but it sounds like it's hostile. It is hostile. I'm rolling a persuasion against your insight. Yes. And I've rolled a 11. I rolled a six. Ooh. So what is it you do or say to convince it that it wants to attack you above anybody I else? I go, our father, uh, uh, our Lord in heaven, uh, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Okay. I say the Lord's prayer. And, and apparently I cross, it hates the Lord's prayer. And I cross myself. No, because then it's just like, this guy checks out. Oh, you're trying <laughs> to get it to not attack you. On the success, a hostile creature is disadvantage on attack rolls against target. Right. But it sounds like he also can't do can't opportunity attacks against opportunity anybody attacks other than against you, which sounds like it's, me. he's got his focus on you. He's got his focus on me because I'm clearly one of God's creatures. You're one of God's children. Yeah. So God's children are not for sale and he's confused by... <laughs> <laughs> You saying the Lord's <laughs> Prayer. So if he does try to attack you, he'll have disadvantage. Correct. And right. or track anybody else. Oh, no. And really quick, sorry. He can't do opportunity attacks against other people. Correct, 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 correct. All right. Link, it is your turn. Are we like underwater? Like, how are you moving in this? Yeah, I, I feel like this is Are we is like sinking? Imagine it's like the ocean. You're underwater. You're not sinking naturally unless you like, you know, empty your lungs. Yeah. So it's kind of like magical. Scrooge McDuck money situation. Yeah. Yes, okay, very okay, much okay. so. Omaris, because I have freedom of movement. So the, the angel hasn't gone yet, right? You no, know, the angel's still looking for you. Okay. I'm going to try to sink lower, too. I mean, I'm essentially holding on to Taylor, um, mm -hmm. so I'm following him. And I'm going to cast freedom of movement on normal, which oh. is you touch a willing creature. I'm assuming you're willing. Uh, mm -hmm. For the duration of the target. William. Huh? Ah, <laughs> this guy. Target's movement is unaffected by difficult terrain. Spells and other magical effects can either reduce the target's speed. The target can also spend five feet of movement to automatically escape any non-magical restraints, but also being underwater imposes no penalties on the target's movement or attack. So I feel like however we were moving, he can essentially like just walk. Pew. Like, yeah, he just moves at normal speed. Normal suddenly um, remembers the two years of synchronized swimming he did. Nice. And also just so that for once I've done the fucking I feel like you did work. those alone too. You know, I think they did 1812 overture and normal was the cannonball. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and for you D and D heads, I know the components are a leather strap bound around the arm or a similar appendage. That's my leather shin guard is my component. Great. Leather. This shin is how guard. I know components are bullshit. By the way, is that Baldur's Gate three, the fucking crunchiest D and D game yeah. of all time does not use. He's like, nah, no, we don't do those. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that was your whole turn. Like, yeah. I mean, I moved in the same direction that... Uh, and you, okay, so you moved in the same I direction, gave, then you cast Freedom of Movement on Normal. Yeah. All right, it's now the angel's turn. So the <gasps> angel heard the Lord's Prayer from this basic direction and is going to make a perception check to see if he can spot you. He got a natural 20. Oh, oh no! So it's going no. to zoom down and specifically target Taylor because that's what it heard last. And it is going to try to enmesh you in its eyelashes. So he's going to roll an attack against you with disadvantage. What is your AC? My AC is 12. So it only got a nine. Eat so it, you managed to barely, <laughs> you managed to barely evade its grasp, or you managed to, you know, like fight off its eyelashes with your fists. But now it's basically close enough to the the ocean that it can see effectively that you are holding hands and that you are all connected in one spot. So okay. when its turn comes around again, it's not going to have to search for you. It's just going to attack you. All right, now it is normal's turn. Normal's going to cast blindness on the eye. Oh, great! No zany spin on it. Yeah. Just a spell. Just a normal spell. <laughs> Is there a uh, save or anything I have to do or? Make a constitution saving throw. If it fails, the target is either blinded or deafened for the duration. It uh, saved. Damn! Damn me. Does anything happen when it saves? Uh, no. <laughs> I fucking hate D&D. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 it didn't DM. work, so you missed hey, DM, DM, you can say whatever you want, baby. You're the one in charge. Yeah. I mean, I don't I'm, think I, I am a slave to the dice. You know that the spell flew at his eye and then the, you know, kind of like he the, just blinked at the right blinked, time. Yeah. Whoa. Blinked it away. That yeah. is, by the way, how it works. For Maybe he has eyes. like an eyelash True. in his eye and it's like really annoying. It's like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> it can like articulate his other eyelashes. So he has to like, uh, uh, and like pick it out. Oh, of his God. Own eye. Weird. It's great. Love it. All right. Taylor, it's your turn again. Woo. Okay. So my sense is really quick. This is a powerful creature, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering, like, if we just kept swimming down, could it swim? We'll find out. You could find out, yeah. Oh, right okay. now, you're at the surface. and uh, Normal's also going to use his extra yeah, movement move to plunge down deeper into the... Yeah. Great. Do I need to make a constitution saving throw? Is that what we're doing for no, this? No, I think he's got freedom of movement. Like, yeah. you just do it. And can we what? breathe down here? You know, if you were submerged under a bunch of papers, like... Well, you can breathe in the ball pit. You can still breathe. Yeah. Okay. I think you specifically don't have to worry about holding your breath. I think the others do. Okay. Because you have freedom of movement. Nice. Don't worry, Freddy. I got another spell slot. You're getting that baby too. Meanwhile, Willie is like, I'll be right back. I'm going to go fuck Marilyn Monroe real quick. And then he like goes into his own heaven. <laughs> Classic, and dude. Then, All right. Well, I'll be here when you get back. Cool. <laughs> Come back soon. <laughs> Can you do something else while I'm like, I don't want you just be sitting there waiting Miss at the you, door. Bro. 
Oh yeah, sure, I'll do whatever you want. Cool, yeah, just look in the other direction. Oh, you're gonna do it right. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm man. not gonna do it right here. I'm gonna go into a room. I just don't want the idea of you staring at a door while I'm inside having sex. That's weird. Oh, I totally get you, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's like <laughs> Kepler's law of planetary motion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking at this elliptical orbit, and you're over here, the sun, my man. <laughs> <laughs> he just silently, slowly closes the door behind him, and you hear horrible sounds of lovemaking. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Beth. Doesn't that mean that the throne of heaven, a.k.a. the throne of God, is vacated at this moment in time? Yes. Interesting. Interesting indeed. All right, do you want to get in the initiative order so we can play around with your scene as well? Dog, cross scene initiative, new boundaries being broken <laughs> all the time on this podcast. Go ahead and roll initiative for me, Beth. I got an eight. Okay. Okay, back to Taylor. Back to Taylor. For my bonus By the way, Will is just masturbating, right? <laughs> well, well, he's having sex with a simulated version of Marilyn Monroe. He just keeps saying Marilyn Monroe, but he's just, he's just in there jerking off and crying. Uh, with my bonus action, very quickly, just tell my compatriots of the plan. I'm like, guys, look, here's the plan. We know that dude's got a bracelet on that says he's got to listen to Willie uh -huh. Sampler. I found this guy, Vincent Spellfeather. Okay? okay. Tells him the plan. Basically, we're going to try and get this guy to change his sure. name to Willie Sampler. Okay. Find him. Find him and convince him, my compatriots. And then I'm going to start swimming away from the group. Oh, okay. To split up. And I'm like, hey, hey, over here. Remember, I can only make opportunity attacks against me. Yep. And so, I'm so as you move away, away, it makes an opportunity attack against you with, with disadvantage. With disadvantage. It got a 13. It's going to grab you around the ankle <laughs> oh, with oh, one of its eyelashes. Oh, no, oh, well, no, okay, okay. I was, and it's going to start to pull you out of the ocean <gasps> by your ankle. Okay. Taylor, Wait, find I'm gonna do First, I'm going to do a reaction. Okay. I'm going to do while wielding a shield, which we've already said my shin guards are shields. Um, you did say you used a component, though. Does that use up the shin guard? How many feet do you think I fucking have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck me. Fair enough. You can see attacks on a target creature other than you. You can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. It already had disadvantage. Oh. Double disadvantage. Yeah, is it a double disadvantage? How's that work? You know the I rules. think it's disadvantage is just disadvantage. Typically, it's disadvantage is just disadvantage. Okay. Well, I can't help you. Okay. But I'm still hanging on to you. I'm trying to swim away. You're I know. hanging well, on I, to me. I got to wait for my turn so it's I can not give your you. Turn. I go swim free, my sweet prince. <laughs> 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 and I use my other shin guard, I guess, because they get absorbed. And I give you freedom of movement, too, if you're going to run away. You already got grabbed by the. He's already being picked up. Yeah, I'm already oh, he's getting picked, picked up. up. He's oh. already getting picked up. But if he does get free, he'll be able to get away a lot easier. Just to clarify, he's getting picked up. Yeah. No magic spell. Just picked up. Just picked up. What okay. is it like his eyelashes are grabbing him? Yes, his eyelashes are Good. grabbing him. Because now, Freddy, you can just simply use movement to get out of it freely. Because anything that's non-magical like ah, constraints, yeah, you can get away wow. from. How long does that last? One hour. Jesus, okay. So next time, use magic, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm doing, uh, yes, I cast freedom of movement on you. I'm not going to swim away from you, though. So I'm doing freedom of movement. And then, I mean, that's a whole action. And I'm just staying within range. Oh, that's okay. sick. Okay. So on your turn, you can move freely, but it's not your turn yet. Yeah, so yeah, the right, angel right, still has right. you I go, hey, grasp. Hey, you me, idiot. And I look at the angel and say that. So it's going to see if it gets distracted by you. Got a natural one. So it is distracted by you. Oh, God. Uh, so <laughs> it has disadvantage against you because of Panache. what Taylor, because Taylor did the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> so it's going to try to attack you with disadvantage. Unfortunately, still with disadvantage, it still managed to get an 18. Okay. So it's going to lash you around the ankle as well with one of its eyelashes. And now normal, it is your turn, and you're the only person who's not currently restrained and uh -oh. being pulled out of the ocean by the angel. I have a spell called Locate Creature. Okay. And it says, describe the name of a creature that is familiar to you. You have his heaven paperwork. So yeah, you yes. have the paperwork of his entire life. So okay, I would say that I counts look as at the familiar. paperwork. What does it say? It basically gives you a biography of his entire life. Well, uh, I got to get familiar with him. So like, you know, wait, we've already shown that that Vincent Spellfeather was born. Just to clarify, that paper tells you exactly where he is. Yeah. It, oh, it does? Yeah. It's oh. like literally Dewey Decimal System. That's how oh, we found it. Well, I don't need to do the spell. Okay. And but I do like the idea that you want. But I am curious. What does it say? Yeah. How much, how many gallons of piss did he get out? Stats. Oh, just yeah, like oh yeah, stats. No, yeah. He peed at least three swimming pools worth of piss in his lifetime. Wow. wow. Is that a lot? Um, I compare it to another one. Is that high or low? It's, it's, <laughs> it's actually kind of low. He did not mm. drink enough water. Probably why he died. <laughs> Vincent Spellfeather was born in Faerun before Code Purple, before any of that stuff happened. He was a wizard who was trying to start his own wizarding school. He, one swimming pool. 
It's kind of one swimming pool, a small That's it. swimming. It's not as much yeah. as I would think. So what they say. So this guy's a piss legend. For a whole life. Yeah, he tripled. Yeah, no, he he tripled. Piss. piss legend. He was oh, specifically a piss centric. He was a pissard. He was trying to find different ways. He was a pissomancer. He was trying to find different ways of using urine to do magical things. And most of his experimentation involved drinking a lot of water and seeing if he could manipulate the piss afterwards, like do a piss elemental like kind of thing. Oh, he's infusing the piss with his own body. Yeah. Yeah. He um, also knew exactly how much he beat because he didn't fill up three pools. He owned three pools and filled them up. <laughs> hey, and let's go to the swim party. Not to the spell weathers, though. Oh, oh man. God. I don't want to go to their <laughs> house. Their pool smells oh, weird. Of course, somebody pooled in my pee. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, nobody ever joined Vincent Spellfeather's School of Magic because of the smell. And he died alone and destitute. Having put like, all this money. Can we find anybody? <laughs> <laughs> if anything, I would assume in the normal family, kindred yeah. spirit. No one's not the piss boy. Link's the piss boy. Yeah. Oh, Link's the piss boy. boy. You're right. He's not a piss boy. He pissed. He's one a piss outside. man. All right. He's a piss I man. Can't have this piss man. I can't have this conversation again. <laughs> normal is going to. Well, we know where he is. So yeah. you two are stuck. You two you are can help us. Don't stuck worry, dude. Stuck. We got it. We got it in our. I'm gonna fuck fine. I'll cast blindness again. Second time's a charm. Okay. Saved again. I'm so sorry. God damn it. Damn it. Dude, those lashes, the blinking. Yeah, just blink. It's upper lashes go and just knock the spell out of the air. We're back with Scary. The throne of heaven is currently open. Dude is sitting next to it with their arms crossed. And next to the other side of it is a Cassandra sitting there like Princess Leia in the original Star Wars poster. Okay. Making um, a sandwich on her ugh. lap. Oh. I'm a going really to, upset look on her face. She's not psyched about it. I'm going to... Eat the sandwich. Because <laughs> 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 goes, I'm not going to make another one. Oh, don't worry about making another one. I'll order delivery. I'm going to make the clutch move of ordering us pizza at 1 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Willie will be back whenever, so I'll just make sure I have a menu of all his favorite spots ready to go. And I pull something out of my pocket. It is the Zine of Truth, and I'm going to cast Non-Detection on it. Okay, so Ooh. Non-Detection does what? For the duration, you hide a target that you touch from divination magic. The target can be a willing creature or a place or an object. The target can't be targeted by any divination magic or perceived through magical scrying sensors. Okay, so I'm going to interpret that as... If Willie sees it, he's not going to know that it's magical. He's going to think it's a normal magazine. Yes. Can you it make looks it like, like a journal. A, it looks like a journal. Can you make looks it like look journal. like Marilyn Monroe porno mag so it's more likely to grab it? Like, can you disguise the magazine? I mean, it seems like a stretch from what right, this right. is. Yeah. And I then mean, I it's write... heaven. You could, like, find a Photoshop or something. <laughs> <laughs> It's in heaven. Um, I, like, like a kinko. I, I log into Heaven Photoshop. Yeah, there's, 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 com there's computers. Oh, you find it station. on top of the Creative Cloud. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 You find, all right, inspiration for, for Taylor. You find the Creative Cloud. And, um, this cloud will cost 50 gold a month to use. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you used to be able to just get a cloud. Isn't it fucked now that we got to pay this cloud every month? I write. Larry's totally rad compilation of best menus ever. Man on the cover. And okay. it, but it looks great. <laughs> oh, <laughs> heaven forbid. Roll performance even... to see if it looks great. Okay. <laughs> it's a 22. Wow. Nice. Okay, so it absolutely looks like a Zagat's guide to like all the best places to eat in heaven. Yep. <laughs> That is my turn. Ten restaurants in heaven you need to try before you die. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. Okay. Uh, we're back to Taylor. Taylor, you are dangling from the lash. I'm going to use the power of freedom of movement. I'm going to spend five feet of movement to automatically escape from non-magical restraints. Such you as manacles, slip through so or very a creature easily. that has it grappled. And then in the air, I will then also, Anthony, use my action elegant maneuver. I can use a bonus action on my turn to gain advantage on the next acrobatics or athletics check you make during the same turn. So in the air, I go, and I tuck, and I start doing like backflips, and then I like, dive effortlessly into the water and it's just like the tiniest splash like a like a like <laughs> one a, single piece of paper goes up into the air i will then proceed to use my movement to be like ah! and then like uh i'm gonna like swing my arms in the windmill and kick as hard as i can and it's just like like you know try and swim away as fast as i can <laughs> yeah I like you have advantage on that acrobatics check or athletics check rather yes go for it that's uh ooh, 19 plus 6 25 jesus you're like the road runner a big cloud of fucking <laughs> Papers comes up and then you're just gone. 
<laughs> so you're like, go on without me. I'm going to distract them. And they get one of me and go, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Right now Link is caught. By yes. well, but he has freedom of movement too. No, Link no, is not freedom of movement. He spent it on both of us. It's now Link's turn. Link, you are alone. <laughs> I the normal's still here. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's alone dangling yeah. from yeah, the Yeah, I watch Taylor. Link's not mad. He, he looks at Taylor go, and he's just happy that his friend's escaping. Okay, so like, where am I on this eye? Like, so how big is this eye? Now I need to know ankle, this. So you were hanging upside down. He has okay. you by the ankle on a lash. It's like a rope is tied around your ankle and you're ah, dangling from the angel. Okay. And his pupil is looking down at me and the pupil is the thing that Pupil. I get absorbed in. Yes. The pupil is beginning to enlarge as it is going to start to slowly on its turn, try to slough you into its pupil. I knew, I knew this is how I was going to go. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to, I guess, just cut the things holding me. Okay. I don't have daggers. I'm going to bite them. Okay. Give me a... How do you roll for mouth? It's like an unarmed strike, right? Yeah, I was thinking that, but there's got to be something slightly more fun. That could be a um, survival. No, nah, it's probably just an armed Pure strike. survival. Pure survival. Yeah, I like survival. Give me yeah, a, give me a disadvantaged survival roll. Disadvantaged. It's an angel. So 11 and 20. So I'll take the 20. <laughs> <laughs> Best I can do is 11. What well, was the other one on 11? 11. Okay, so in 11, you managed, to, you managed to bite into the angel's eyelash, and it is the single most delicious thing you've ever tasted. Confusingly. Oh, it's a nerd's rope, dude. But you don't bite all the way through it. Your teeth are just getting. Leave back. me, Norm. Don't come up here. It's all mine. It's mine. <laughs> Link, no. All right. So it is the angel's turn. The angel is going to place you into its people. What? Can I fight against that? Yeah, I'm, I'm having it roll for it. Oh, okay. All right. So you're going to have to beat a 17. Of what? Let's say a athletics. Space. Dexterity? What? Are you what? About? No, I mean, what save am I doing? I'd say it's an athletics check or dexterity save. I'm going to do athletics because that's a plus seven. Jesus. You got a 13. Oh, All right. So no. you get put As into I'm the getting people. sucked in, I go, Norm, don't eat the lashes. Whatever you do, don't eat the lashes. So you get plunged into pure darkness inside of the angel, and the angel's pupil blinks shut for a second. And you are, for, I guess, the third time now, plunged into complete and utter darkness just with your feelings and your thoughts. And it's not amazing. But you are basically. <laughs> I beg to disagree. Link's amazing. killing it in there. <laughs> So you are stuck there now, oh. and on your turn, you can try to escape it. It's going to be very difficult. Normal is your turn. If I pop this eyeball, will it kill Link? I guess there's Only no one way, way to find out. What would, if I wanted to understand the basic anatomy of this thing, what would that be? I would say that's Arcana, because it's magical. Arcana. Okay, well, that's a two, so one. So I have no idea. Who knows? Fuck it. We're going to go for it. We're going to hope for the best. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. Okay. At the seventh level. Whoa. On wow. this thing, I say, you leave me no choice. I must free my friend, Guiding Bolt. And you just hear Link go, just leave me. Uh, <laughs> no. A flash of light streaks towards a creature. Make a ranged spell attack against the targets. I got a 12. All right. So 12 <laughs> is not going to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So it is Scary's turn again. Scary, save When me. do we think? <laughs> well, how far away is Scary? Save me. Scary, sit on the throne of God and become God. <laughs> no, I don't want to get on his bad side. I mean, yeah, Larry just doesn't want to get on his bad side. Larry man. is a man She's of science. <laughs> Larry, as a kid of science, doesn't believe in God. <laughs> yeah. When do we think that Willie will be coming back? I know he's coming right now. But... <laughs> I'm going to roll for Willie's ability to maintain. Oh. Not very well. He's coming back next turn. Okay, oh, no. No, no, gonna, I think he's got enough pride to, like, pretend he stays in there. Yeah, he's going to stay in there with his arms crossed. <laughs> like, wait, no, <laughs> early. Yeah. He's like, come um, out early. Yeah. He's a I three pump chunk. Why he, that's why he didn't want you looking at the door. Yeah. He, oh. he didn't want you to realize how He's just on his phone now, just like, <laughs> playing Marvel Snap for so, a bit. Uh, Arthur Miller, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hold my turn. Taylor, it is your turn again, then. Wait, what happens when you hold your turn if you're at the end? I'm going to say that we'll just allow Scary to get one more turn in if she wishes before her turn comes up again. Okay. What turn? I'm gone. Okay, you're gone. Great. So you're out I of mean, initiative order. you can still order. do things while you're gone. <laughs> no, I'm finding this guy. I, I've removed you from initiative order. <laughs> you you can still do gone. stuff. You're just not involved with the, um, you're the trying to find angel Vincent anymore. Yeah, yeah, not, even, not even a class back at your two friends. <laughs> That's why Taylor Swift <laughs> is the fucking killer operator the team needs. Because he doesn't let emotions get in the way of the fucking job that needs to get done, dude. 
Man, but let me ask you this: the 185th used to be a foot I'm mecca with these men. Sacrifice myself to just the most god anybody's ever been. Let me ask you a question though. Okay, so mm-hmm. I, do I reach Anthony? How yep. far do I get? Do I reach the shore? Can I get out of the? Yeah, sh- I would say you can manage to get out to the shore while the angels looking the other direction. Okay, so my right question now. is this: I'm just trying to think of like, is there a way that I can call the angels off? Like, is there like a, a fire alarm equivalent? Is there like you know what I mean? Like, what is? There I anything? feel like that would probably be the throne of God. Yeah, there's only one angel on us. So, but like, the problem yeah. is. Scary doesn't know that you guys are in trouble. Yes, yeah. exactly. So it's a little yeah. bit called dramatic. But irony. like, Scary would want to be on the throne of God, though. Regardless, it's pretty cool. Be on the throne of God. Guys, scary is, don't make is, me question at my every turn. Try to here. not be the leader. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to roll to resist the throne of God. I believe that you don't even need to roll. Okay. Like if Scary went to the Lincoln Monument, would you be like, I'm going <laughs> to climb up on the chair of Lincoln? Onto Lincoln's lap. That's the most Matt Arnold thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Like we all would. Wouldn't you just want to be part of the greatest <laughs> American president of all time? Lincoln's lap. Like, what do you want it's to do? Yeah, Lincoln's about being a troublemaker. Like, when you went to museums, I always wanted to just climb everything. I just want to climb stuff. All right, so you're not going to see anything that's going to allow you to call the angel off. So, so you there can, are, are you there can any book dolphins? it for Vincent Spellfeather. Are there feather, any you dolphins? You no, they're outside. No, they're all outside. They're all outside. It's just paper. Go find Vincent. Yeah, I'm going to just find the, it. find the piss wizard. Yeah, yeah I'm going to find piss wizard Vincent Spellfeather. Okay. Give me a stealth roll because there's still angels patrolling. <laughs> Executing phase two of the mission. <laughs> Your stealth check is 30? Yeah, I got a stealth check of 30, dude. <laughs> wow. 18 plus 12. And here's how, here's how I'm going to stealth myself out, okay? As I get up, you know what I see? I see like a room service cart. That was like a spaghetti room service cart, <laughs> you know? This? So the second roll cart? This is the third. <laughs> this is every time. Why don't we just made a drink cart? If he's not casting darkness, he's <laughs> hiding in a cart. <laughs> well, so this is a room service cart full of spaghetti and the meatballs. Uh-huh. And so I'm going to use that to stealth in. Great. So what it is, so you would think. Barrel. Now, here's what you would think, Matt. You would think. Italian waiter being like, I can't wait to do the Parmesan and then judge someone oh, when they don't no. say, no, I'm good after a long enough time with the Parmesan. You'd think that will, but unfortunately everyone in heaven is outside, so it's just a cart moving on its own. Unfortunately, there's no Italians in it. <laughs> <laughs> they go to Italian heaven. Italian what do they do in Italian heaven? Hell. That's <laughs> what they call- <laughs> yeah, spicy heaven would just be hell. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Sism is pushing a big meatball. (laughs) (laughs) Italian hell is them having to sit and watch people make spaghetti carbonara with fucking olive oil and garlic. When you're here, you're enemy. (laughs) You have to watch The Godfather 3. (laughs) Okay, so so, yes, you you perfectly dive into the Olive Garden cart. And the cart, then momentum just continues Momentum carries Uh you deep into the annals of the heaven sort of... What's Agent the Taylor, the maze in. of heaven doors. Agent Taylor checking in, currently motivating self towards the target. Over, <laughs> oh, not right. talking to anybody. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what you hear Moving from the car. Yeah, he's just pumped. All right, so you managed to get into the maze of heaven doors, and you have the paper in hand, so you know exactly where Vincent Spellfeather is. Link, give me a con save. Constitution save. We're going to be looking for a lot of those in 2024, am I right? (laughs) 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 Wow, it's like John Oliver's here. Oh, natural 21! I love this country! Let's do it! (laughs) We're natural 20 plus one. All right, great. Natural Natural 21. 21. So you take no damage from being within the inside of this. Just because you have such a pure soul, dog. Yeah. Aww. Your love of Abraham Lincoln and your <laughs> desire to sit on his lap uh, <laughs> protects you from the acidic darkness that is the angels in the interior. Link has no love for Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln is just listening and to seeing if he can Link hear Link has his- no love for Abraham Lincoln. That's even more problematic. <laughs> I would never sit on Abraham Lincoln's lap, but I would sit on like in, in, no in the Tim Burton Planet of the Apes okay. when it's the oh, ape, ape Lincoln. <laughs> ape Lincoln. I would sit on that lap. Okay, there you go. All right, Lincoln's not thinking about Abraham Lincoln. He's listening to hear if his friends are getting killed, and upon hearing nothing, he's taking comfort in that. It's just cool. Quiet. I'm gonna remove you from the initiative as well. Nice. The angel is going to use its turn to zoom up into the air and return oh. to <laughs> Willie. And Can throne. I get a chance to do one thing before it leaves the area of combat? I'll give you something that is equivalent to or less cool than an opportunity attack. Okay. Um, I'm going to... <laughs> equivalent to or less I just say cool. It gets an action via casting a spell. What's the spell? Uh, command. Yeah, that doesn't feel like a reaction. That feels like a thing on your turn. You know what I'll say? I'll say it gets far enough away that it can still hear the command on its turn. So you have okay. a turn before it gets out of hearing. That's range. all I want. Yeah. The command is drop it. Spit him out. <laughs> Sp- hey. 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 Leave, leave it. it. Leave, leave it. Leave it. Stop. 
Stop. Leave it. Okay, it is your no. turn now. It's 60 feet away. It's sprinted. It's, it flew sprinted away, but it can still hear what you're saying. So go ahead and command uh, so is a, what, a save? Wisdom 16. Wisdom 16. 16. Okay. Save and throw. You can come and look at it, but it is a 15, and I feel like it's an angel, so it gets like a plus one wisdom. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. Chat GPT, are angels wise? So it turns and looks back at you and then is going to make a decision of whether it wants to get you or not. The answer, by the way, yes, they are beings of great wisdom, everybody. Yeah, sorry. Oh, okay. So with a natural 20, it's going to decide, nah, he's not worth it, and it's going to fly Yeah, because I didn't do shit to it for fucking yeah. five it turns. It doesn't consider you as much of a threat. <sighs> All right, so I feel like we are now out of initiative. So the You've split the party into four into groups. four groups. Yeah, you made it so much easier. I'm about to get connected with Larry. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Willie comes out of the door that he just entered, disgustingly sweaty. And and not was, that Whoa. much work either. Wait. Yeah, it was a whole lot. It was like it was like hours. I was in there, like whatever time it felt like in here. It was like it was like triple that in there. It's a time dilation wow. thing. Sir, you've been gone so long. Oh really? Too. Oh yeah. man, it's at least triple that. So. I won't be shaking your hand, but I'd like a fist bump if that's okay. It'll make your whole hand smell. Oh, that's. <laughs> Awesome, dude. Oh, fuck, dude. These fist bumps you and it's disgusting. It's yeah, whatever. <laughs> cool. Um, so <clears throat> I bet you're fucking hungry after that performance, right? Oh god, yeah, I'm thirsty too. Well, bad Cassie, news. Cassie, where's that sandwich? Bad news, you know me. I just get like accustomed <laughs> to these evil forces, and I like ate that sandwich, bro. I outbroed you, bro. I'm so sorry. It was a real bro crime. Bro on bro crime. You hate to see it, bro. Roll persuasion to see if he's not gonna hold that deeply again. Because um. <laughs> my mom makes great sandwiches, guys. I like to think this is Larry's idea of what a science guy is. That's a 27. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Whoa. Game recognized game. <laughs> With a sweat stained finger, he pokes you in the chest. He goes, I like that initiative. You saw what you wanted and you took it. <laughs> well, I mean, you're the one who's worked up a sweat. So why don't you take a look at this special curated menu <laughs> and see if there's anything you'd like to order. <laughs> Okay. And I hand him the notebook. Okay, the Zine of Truth. Would you like to describe what the Zine of Truth does? Yes. The Zine of Truth, a composition notebook covered in stickers and Sharpie marks. When open, the individual that opens the Zine must make a wisdom saving throw of 15. On a failed save, the individual is immediately compelled to write their deepest, darkest secret on the first unmarked page and give it back to the person that gave it to them. On a successful save, the individual takes 1d4 psychic damage from the cringy things others have written in the notebook. He just writes, I masturbated for 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I, <have> sex, <laughs> I didn't have sex with Marilyn Monroe. I did not have sex with Marilyn Monroe. Because you had such a good role, I'm going to say he's going to write a couple things because some of these will be useful and some of them probably will not be. He writes, I tried to kill my son. He writes, I will do anything to not be submerged in water ever again. And he writes, I did not have sex with Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I could not get it up. Oh, no. So I stood there. And had her say mean things to me for a couple hours. And then I jerked off. <laughs> and he hands it back to you. And he goes, what was that? Oh, Why uh, did I just do that? <laughs> I don't know, bro. It might be something to do with the law of attraction. You know, <laughs> that's a scientific. Uh, or um, uh, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Give me that. Give me that back. I don't want you to have that. Oh, you don't want it. You don't. Okay. No, I don't know why, but I just felt the need to like unburden myself. And I just, I, 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 cool guys don't share feelings with other people. Give it back, please. Um, have I looked at what's on it? I think you probably didn't have time. Okay. You could do it right now. You'd be seeing you look at it, but you could, you could do it right now. <laughs> okay, sure. I'll, I'll look at it. You see everything that I just told you. And he goes, whoa, give it back. Dude, get it back for me. And dude is going to descend one step and reach out a purple tendril and just yank it out of your hands. Okay, word. Yeah. No, I mean, um, hey, bro. When dude gets it, dude opens it up and writes, I'm scared, and then closes it. Aww. Oh. Hey, dude, what did you write? I don't know. Oh, you can tell me. No, I'm a bad girl. I'm, I'm doing bad girl stuff, so I don't want to talk about it. I'm just here to support Willie. Yeah, me too. <laughs> As you're saying this, an angel descends and opens its eye and spits a, no worse for wear, Lincoln Lee Wilson onto the clouds in front of Willie. So what were you going to say? Nothing. You know, sometimes it's better to be seen and not heard, my bro. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. And he pockets the notebook. Oh, it's Lincoln. It's Lincoln. Well, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I... It's the Piss King. <laughs> Round of applause for the Piss King, everybody. And all the eyelids, like, like put their lashes together. Link is still in his fetal position. And he just closed his eyes. So he just landed and he hasn't moved or done anything. So okay. he can still tell it's Lincoln. Can he still tell it it's Lincoln? Yeah, my eyes are closed. <laughs> <laughs> 
Matt they Arnold, can't... Matt Arnold operating off peekaboo rules. <laughs> they can't see me. Yes, he knows that it is you, Lincoln. <laughs> I was wondering if I'm slimy, if it just looked like a big phlegm shot out or something. No, no just, it just, just looks like you just rolled. Just you just perfectly rolled out dry okay. in fetal position and then like tumbled to the ground. Um, Damn, looks like somebody's suffering the effects of the universal law of gravitation. Okay, I got it. You're very <laughs> smart. <laughs> Angels, I don't need him. What? Okay. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm, I'll watch this guy. Yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. Make sure Willie. he doesn't do shit. Yeah, you you messed and, up, man. And if he does, I'll kill hey, him. Hey, well, okay. Hey, hi. Who are you? I'm Larry. Oh. And if you don't like that, then fuck off. Oh, I mean, because Honey did... Badger drinks when he wants <laughs> and hangs out with did... whoever he wants. Did we go to the same school? Nope. Okay. So Willie nods and puts his hand on your shoulder and he goes, Honey Badger does drink whenever he wants. This kid's fucking going places, unlike you and all your stupid friends. So yep. why don't you tell me where they are? Because I'm assuming, what, you're part of some sort of last ditch effort to save your family or something like that? Where, where are they, kid? Come on. Yeah, but you go find them. I'm not going to help you. Okay, fine. Go ahead and put him in the... No, I his... don't want to do that, though. No, <laughs> yeah. I stay here? no I'll watch him. I'll watch him. <laughs> go ahead and roll persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> to see Larry, Larry, I feel like Larry. disadvantage. Larry. Roll for persuasion with disadvantage because it doesn't make any sense that he would do this. Larry, though, I believe in you. A nine. All right. So the nine, he goes, Larry, it's time to let the adults take care of this. Willie snaps his finger at the angels. The angels conjure a door behind you, Link, and the door opens and it's an empty cell with padded walls. Yeah, it's just like the Willy one, and I've seen them, because I saw Daryl oh, yeah, do that yeah, cool okay. action. Yes, yes, so it's just like all the other cells, yeah. it's just the cells big enough for one person to slowly cells lose their mind. Cells, interlinked, cells. cells. <laughs> the angel <laughs> is gonna knock you in the chest with its no, I'm eyelash. No, I'm gonna grab onto a dude. Okay. I'm gonna like bear oh. hug dude. Okay. Oh. Like a toddler not wanting to go somewhere. Okay, great, give me a strength check. I got a six. Well, he got a two. <gasps> so, you managed to bear hug dude, and dude goes, dude, don't, don't be, be sad. sad. I'm not sad, dude. I'm not going to let go of you, man. I don't want to let you go. And Willie says, let go of him. And he immediately lets go of you. Okay, well, I'm going to hang. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not letting go. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still holding him. Will, Willie says, dude, push him into the room. And he goes, I'm so sorry. And he puts his hand up against your face like a six foot tall basketball player just shoving aside a five foot dude, tall basketball player. This isn't your fault, dude. No, I think it is. Dude pushes you inside. The My cell. friends are going to stop you, Willie. Willie goes, if they can hear me, I'm sorry I failed. I'm sorry. And the That's door. okay. We still like you, Link. <gasps> <laughs> That's the last thing you hear is the door slams shut, sealing you inside alone in this little cell. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> what does other people want to do now? We can jump to Taylor uh, in your search for, for Vincent Spellfeather. Okay. Taylor is now searching the halls, and I think he's going to arrive at the door of Vincent Spellfeather. Uh-huh. And I'm going to go, Time to prep my riz. The door opens and you see a man covered in piss and he says, yeah, Vincent Spellfeather here. Who did you bring my pizza? Vincent Spellfeather, <laughs> I got something even better for you, my man. How would you like piss magic to be real? What? It's already real in my head in this room for How me. How would you like to deploy piss magic in a real way? Oh. Well, I suppose that against would be... Against your enemies. Against the ultimate test. How would you like to kill God with piss? <laughs> oh, go ahead and roll persuasion. It's got to be pretty persuasive. A fucking wizard hungry for power. And you also have inspiration from that funny thing you said earlier. So if you want to use it here. 15 plus 2, 17. Okay. So with the 17, he's going to go, you can promise me a piss fight? That's right, Vince. That's what I've wanted out of heaven all along. I've, I've been in here just doing simulated piss fights if my piss magic actually worked out, but it never did. You're telling me there's a way to make it work for real? I knew there was. I knew I knew that I was just a few millimeters away from finally cracking the code that's on my urinomancy. And that's why I'm here. Here at heaven, I'm part of a special division of ages. We keep an eye on every magical denizen within our walls, and we've noticed the accomplishments that you've been making in piss magic, and we'd like to offer you the opportunity to deploy your patented pending form of piss magic in the ultimate test. What more say fluids you? on him. Yeah, absolutely. What do I do? Now, and I pull Vincent in a little close. Now, <laughs> now, Vince, there is a catch. You will need to change your name. Why? You were so close to unlocking the true power of Euromancy. But the fact is, it requires the caster. To have a certain name. You see, these old names have power. 
<laughs> like the old name. We are in the Abrahamic religion after all. And the names have power in this sort of belief system, I think. <laughs> well, you had wrong. Here's the thing, my man. You were on the right track the whole time. But what you never considered was that your name was Vincent. What was it again? Spellfeather. Spellfeather. But in order for piss magic to work, you need a piss-centric name. Something like Willie, perhaps. Willie does mean penis. Yes. <laughs> and your last name needs to be Stampler for reasons I can't get into. <laughs> Roll deception. I'm going to use my advantage. Okay. And with that advantage, I get a 12 plus 12, 24. So he goes, you know what? You have the smell of you of somebody who understands piss better than most. Do you have, does your school have a urology department? <laughs> oh, let me tell you something. I happen to be an expert on everything piss related. I, yes, the answer is yes. That is what everyone studies. That is the main class, in fact. You know what, my friend? Yeah. You've got a deal. And all right. He whips out a pen. You're going to need to change your name using these forms. Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. And Cross sign out his here. name. Sign, sign, sign. And initial here. Initial here. And uh, another one on this page. W.S. Uh, it's a shame his last name isn't Campler or something, because it'd be W.C. like water closet. That'd be extra fun for me, but it's, a, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, W.S. Hey, W.S. Hey, Willie hey, Stem. Hey, call hey, me Willie. Willie. Call me William. Oh, Willie. Willie. Willie? Oh, Willie. Yeah, Willie. Yeah, Willie. Yeah, of course. William is not a slang for penis. Willie. <laughs> Willie I am. Willie Stampler. <laughs> Willie Stampler, that's me. What do we do now? Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Well, what is your name again? I'm Taylor Swift. <laughs> the musician? <laughs> no. Fair enough. The piss genius. <laughs> All right, so what do we do now? Now that his name is Willie Sampler, dude listens to Willie Sampler, right? Yeah. You're going to need to say this magic spell to kind of get things going. <laughs> and then it's, I hand him a piece of paper, and the paper is written in quotes and then written in like a really like fancy schmancy like medieval font by my own hand, what I think is a fancy schmancy medieval font. It says, dude, kill the Willie Sampler closest to you. Uh... I just say I'm, it, a little, man. I'm a little nervous <laughs> that you just made me change my name to Willie Stampler and then you're having me hold this piece of paper that says to kill Does Willie he Stampler. Know who the uh, other Willie right, Stampler right. is? No, because so as far as he's concerned, you just hand him a piece of paper that says kill wait, 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 your me, own on. name. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, hold on, let me, give me that piece. Oh my God, I gave you the wrong one. <laughs> I gave you the wrong one. That's what you get when you don't have a good filing system in place. <laughs> so, hey, let, me, let me just uh, take that and I erase it really quick. And I say, dude, oh, fuck, I could say anything here. Just have him kill Willie Stamper just do it in a different language. He doesn't know what he's saying. Uh, here we the go. Words are still... Kill the Willie. Yeah, let me just fix that. It says, kill the Willie Stampler you're closest to. And then there's a parenthetical now. Not me, the one who's saying this right now. Not this Willie Stampler. I'm just going to need you to say that. Get a little, uh, get a little voice print from you. Just, uh, this is the uh, main activation phrase. Go ahead and just uh, let's just go with that. Okay. Kill Willie Stampler. Willie Stampler closest to you. Not me, the one saying this right now. <laughs> so that's what it'll be like when we do that. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> you with your new piss-soaked friend in hand. Well, now let me ask you a question. Dude, being an elder tour can't hear us, huh? No, he can't hear us. Oh, okay, okay. So I think with that, you've met a new friend. Uh, your plan is going into a pretty and now, good space. And I'm going to talk to him, and I'm going to reserve the right, as we walk to the throne of heaven, I'm going to reserve the right to come back here to a flashback to <laughs> instruct him in a very specific way before the fight. I'm going to say no. <laughs> well, I'm going to say this, then. I'm going to say this. Hey, listen, man. You your piss magic? Here's what you're going to do. We're going to go to the throne of heaven. You're going to have a showdown, okay? We're going to show everyone how fucking great this piss magic is. But listen to me, all right? You're going to open with it. And then you're going to say this phrase, okay? Okay. Cool. Sounds good to me. My man! My man! Normal. My dog! Normal is at a loss for what to do. He's once again alone. He's alone in a vast ocean of paperwork. He failed trying to save his friend. Taylor seems to have the piss man thing pretty well under lock. And so Normal's trying to think of what he can bring to the situation. You don't know that he did that, by the way. I, I don't know that. that. That's true. But I Normal just, just thinks he ran away. Normal, Normal just has just a lot of confidence that in his friend. Him. And then Normal and realizes he did. that he saw, he was surprised to see that Cassandra was outside, right? Mm. And then he remembered that Willie seems like kind of, kind of like maybe low key, like a little bit, like he doesn't take women seriously or like as a threat or anything. Low key. Low key. Just, <laughs> low key, though. Lo Normal's kind of clocking those vibes, <laughs> and it makes him think that maybe there's a chance that he hasn't rounded up Mercedes O. Garcia, his mom who's canonically dead and probably made it to heaven. So 
Normal knows that his grandmother is a powerful J.O. Crystal magician and wants to see if he can find her in heaven. How would I go about doing that to see if I can bring a powerful J.O. Crystal witch to our side? Well, if you had access to the dolphins, that would be pretty easy. They could find it for you without them. Oh, wait, but I do have the locate creature spell and I do know my grandmother really Yes, you well. definitely okay, do. So I'm going to cast locate creature. Cool. You know exactly where she is in the labyrinth of heaven rooms. Okay, I am going to try to make my dangerous way there to let the Hulk out of the cage, so to speak. Cool, give me a stealth roll. Okay. Oh, I got a 19. Great, so you managed to stealthily infiltrate the labyrinth of doors, and you find- She's like next to the piss wizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my what man! What are the odds? <laughs> my man! So you find a, a door that says Mercedes O. Garcia. <gasps> Abuelita, I knock on the door. The door opens. She sloughs off some spaghetti and goes, <gasps> normal! And she wraps you in a big old bear hug. And she goes, it's been so long. Grandma, it's so oh, nice. Oh, no, you, you die. Well, but, uh, did you die? No, we didn't die. Oh, my God. I'm oh, sorry. It's really great to see you. I'm it's good to see you. Right now. I take a big marinara hug from her. Mm -hmm. um, and then I peel myself off and wipe the marinara from my face. Grandma, do you know what's going on up here? No, what's going I mean, the, the marinara thing. Look, you you won't no, you'll understand it when you try. I'm not going to judge about it the It seems spaghetti. weird, but I know it it's actually okay. is great. It's okay, but Grandma, no. Willie Stapler took over heaven. She takes out a gun. Whoa. She, she goes, point me in the right direction. I point her in the right, I, he's that way. <laughs> yeah. Follow me. She, she goes, oh, you got a deep voice I on you just now. Don't I just don't Sorry, I got some marinara okay, there. there. There's normal. So we're going to sneak off through the labyrinth once again. we run again. into each other on the way over? Yes. Do we have a comical right, scene? Oh, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. You roll a d20. Mm -hmm. I roll a d20. If it's the same number... We run into each other. Okay. I, I think if it's also not the same number, you run into each other. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Ray, three, two, yeah, one, roll. I got a natural 20. I got an eight. <laughs> Weird, wow. you run into each other. You're both <laughs> evens. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah, they're both perfectly divisible by four, which means that you round a corner and you slam into each other. Wow. Oh. Uh, my lady. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> this is Willie Stampler. So she shoots him. <laughs> no! no! Dead no! in the fucking face. <laughs> she knows! She knows! She knows! All our days whisked away. But is there something more to say? You know that no one knows us better than ourselves. You should tell myself it'll be all right. Sleep at night I know that no one knows me better Than myself And I know I'll get this right It's just a matter of time Till we make it out alive We gotta pick ourselves up and say Not today, no, not today We live for tomorrow Dungeons and Daddies is Matt Arnold is Lee Wilson. Anthony Burch is our DM. Will Campos is Normal Oak. Beth May is Gary Marlowe and myself. Freddie Wong is Taylor Swift. Our theme song is On My Way by Max and Waller. Brian Fernandez is our content producer. Ashley Nicolette is our community manager. Courtney Terry is our community coordinator. Esther Ellis is our lead editor. Travis Reeves provides additional editing. And Robin Rapp is our transcriber. This podcast is supported by Patreon. People like Michael Crabtree, Luke Cavendish, SJB, Conrad760, KHB, Raf Jansen, Emily Doyle, Ireland Eversole, Killam Noble, Emily Lickenbrock, David Murray, Charlie Lamb. Fear, S.A. Jalise, Samantha Landeros, Dragon Rider, Rami Brett, Sam Skulls, Dinart, Chris Green, and Scott Liddell. While our shop is down, we still have digital downloads of our prior one shots and albums. Season one, we had Henry Oak recording Rock's Rock, an edutainment rap album, and season two is Scary Marlowe recording her EP Sophomore Slump by her band Butthole Ricochet, an album that expresses her inner teen angst. 
Perhaps the greatest tragedy of Pitchfork was that the hallowed music review institution sloughed the mortal coil before being able to review these two niche improv D&D comedy joke albums. You can judge these mighty works yourself by going to the Patreon at patreon.com slash Dungeons and Dads and clicking on the shop tab. There you will find our albums as well as our one-shot miniseries where the cast really cuts loose. It's all $7.50 or you can spend 5 bucks and just try out the Patreon for a month. You get access to everything that you see there as well as a whole lot more. That is at patreon.com slash Dungeons and Dads. Check out our sick website, DungeonsandDags.com. Our next episode is February 13th, Valentine's Day Eve, so we'll see you then. DungeonsandDaddies.com. Is that even our website? Yeah, it is. That's our website. How do you not know our website? I don't know. I don't go to it that yeah. often. Wait, can the angel I go, go in? I check DungeonsandDaddies.com every day. Every single day. I set day. DungeonsandDaddies.com to be my homepage. Why can't I email from Beth at DungeonsandDaddies.com? Do you want an email? Yeah. You sure? No. That's what I thought. <laughs>